Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to my new video. It's Hypno here. I really hope you enjoy. And I just maxed out the Cannoneer guys. After like a few months, I finally managed to max it out after every everyone already has it maxed. I just didn't want to buy it in the shop and when it like got accessible for free to play players, I still didn't manage to max it out, but now I did it. So yeah, really happy about that. And I want to be trying out to play the Cannoneer with Lockbait because I've never really seen anybody play the Cannoneer in Lockbait decks. So yeah, I always wanted to test that out, but I couldn't because I didn't have it maxed. So here I am and I have two decks prepared for you guys for this video with Lockbait and the Cannoneer. So yeah, let's see how we can perform. And um, this deck has the Evolution Knight and Evo Skellies and we are playing, playing with the Nado and Lock. This might remind you of a deck that has been played like, I don't know, five or six years ago or even longer probably. Like there used to be a um, lock bait tornado deck with the um, lock as well. So yeah, that tornado deck had the rocket as well and no building I think. But yeah, with the um, cannoneer buildings are really good because you can like pull tanks into the middle with the building and that way the other cannoneers start shooting the tank also which is really nice so yeah not really worth it to play with the rocket in here so I'm just gonna let the loon connect and then I'm gonna nato it to my king I'll also pressure him with the princess at the bridge so we get the king tower activation here which is nice and he wastes the evil knight onto the left because he has to respond to my princess and now he doesn't have too much of elixir so how can he stop the evil knight and the barrel because his tower is already like fully um, down to the last shot like he needs to recharge but it can't because it's constantly hitting the Evo Knight. By the way guys Evo Knight is probably the best tank in the game against the new tower because when you have the Evo Knight crossing the bridge and it's ha it has the like shield that it has because it's Evo um, then the tower really doesn't do any damage against the Evo Knight even though it's like charged up so yeah, whenever you have the Evo Knight in cycle, you can always pressure them really well, even if the um, tower is at like full charge. So really nice to have the Evo Knight. So okay, I'm just gonna nato that back to make sure that it doesn't connect. So I'll pressure him with the princess also. And yeah, that's gonna be game. He can't stop my second princess shot. So really nice first game here. And yeah, that actually worked out super well against this balloon deck. Would have been so much harder if we had the princess tower. So GG's and I'll see you guys in the next game. We are in the next game here and I'm playing the second deck that I have prepared for you guys. So just gonna go for the princess to support my electro spirit. And I tried to go for my goblins there to protect my princess because I saw the bandit was going for the electro spirit. But unfortunately my goblins didn't manage to like pass my princess so they could protect it and I'm just sniping this little prince with my cannon right here so he's gonna be up a little bit of elixir um, and I don't have my cannon in cycle so that was actually not the smartest cannon right there should have saved my cannon for sure now I have to go for a valkyrie low and let the um, battle ram connect but yeah this is gonna be a good valkyrie here that's gonna clean up everything the battle ram actually pushed my valkyrie back so the ghost got onto tower like for a swing onto the valkyrie and my tower so yeah that was kind of unlucky that he got that ghost swing but kind of deserved after going for a bad cannon like that so yeah definitely not gonna be doing that again so he has the battle evil battle ram also right so we definitely have to be careful of that and just going for the princess opposite lane again because I know I can counter everything he puts against that cheaply and yeah I want to get more damage and in single I can only get damage with princess at the bridge really right because barrels are not really gonna do anything. Um, I'm actually gonna barrel if I hit 10 here if he doesn't do anything before me because I don't want to waste my valkyrie and Cycling goblins wouldn't really do anything and I also need them for defense and he's probably gonna respond to this goblin barrel anyways, right? So yeah, he goes for the bandit, but we still get one shot onto the tower. So decent goblin barrel right there and Yeah, we kind of closed the gap like we were down a lot of damage But now it's like even closer than at the start of the game because he starts with like 
1000 HP more and now he only has 200 HP more. Only 100 HP now even, so we get a really good evil Valkyrie right there and I can support this evil Valkyrie with my Goblin Barrel also, so yeah the tank, the tower is gonna be tanked for from the Valkyrie, so look at that Goblin Barrel that actually is going in, we got like 500 damage right there. I can go for the Electro Spirit and Valkyrie and then I can get really good evil Skellies onto the Battle Ram because yeah it lost its charge because of the Electro Spirit, so Really good defense right there, he keeps spamming at the bridge, so I will have to commit something else here, but we're looking good because, yeah, we defended quite well, and that was a horrible ability, I don't know about that, because I can just go for, yeah, my cannon again, because he went for the battle ram also, and he's ignoring my princess trying to get damage, but he's not getting any damage, so, yeah, <laughs> this is really nice, like, if I didn't have the cannoneer, I probably wouldn't have been able to defend like that so very good we have the cannoneer like against the can um against the prince against the um, dagger duchess tower with the princess if you play the princess they can just like always ignore everything and go in because you're gonna have to overspend so much on defense because you have the princess tower but when you have the cannoneer like the cannoneer kills everything they put just like their dagger duchess tower kills everything um, I put so yeah the cannoneer kind of evens the like the dagger duchess tower out against lockbait if your opponent is playing the dagger duchess tower with beatdown if they play it with cycle what they normally don't do then you're looking really bad so yeah really nice game here we defended that evil battle ram push really nicely even though yeah we didn't defend that normal battle ram push at the start really nice but yeah I'll still take the win and GG's we in the next game against Mercy here, and I'm playing with the Lockbait deck that I played in the first game again, so he goes for the Bobs in the back, pretty interesting, just gonna pressure him with the Princess at the bridge, so yeah, he has to respond to that still, because the Barbarians just take way too long to get to my Princess, so the Princess gets so much damage, and he goes really aggressive with the, um, with the Ram Rider, but I can just activate the King Tower here, right, so... Yeah, that activates and I can just lock this so the piggy is one shot and the mother is one mother which is one shot also from the cannoneer. So yeah, really good start to the game here, honestly. We got so much damage with the princess and we defended really nicely and activated the king tower. So really good start to the game here. And this guy is not playing the dagger duchess tower, but I'll use this game anyways because yeah, this video is not only about the new dagger duchess tower. It's also about playing Lockbait with the Cannoneer, which has never really been suc successful before by anyone. So, yeah, definitely still gonna be using this game, even though he doesn't have the Dagger Duchess Tower. So, this Pekka is just gonna get mel melted from my Cannoneer. Cannoneer is just so good against, like, these Pekka Bridge Spam decks, because, yeah, all of those cards they have are really high HP. HP so the cannoneer does yeah a really really good job against them so yeah not not really ha like I don't even have to respond to this because <laughs> with the tesla everything just dies with the help of the cannoneer so he goes for the arrows right there that's fine by me I'm just gonna pressure him with the evil skellies to force out something and then I can go for my barrel he goes for the zap so yeah he has to waste the elite barbarians onto that but the placement of the elite barbarians was kind of horrible because he still took so much damage from the barrel and we get the e-spirit chain. Also gonna lock this just to cycle and get even more damage onto the tower. We, need, we, we really don't need a lot more damage so just gonna be focusing on defense for now because I know he's not gonna be breaking through with a P.E.K.K.A push if I don't like overspend like crazy on offense so yeah, everything is dead besides the P.E.K.K.A, but the P.E.K.K.A won't really do anything against the Cannoneer, so everything is dead. And yeah, just gonna pressure him with the barrel because those barbs and yeah, okay. Also with the Ram Rider, that's not gonna do anything. The Cannoneer and Tesla just melt everything. I feel like Cannoneer with the Tesla and NATO is such a broken combination against beatdown decks because Tesla pulls everything in the middle. And if that doesn't do the job, you can still NATO everything back so the Cannoneer still gets like more shots before cards can connect. So NATO with Tesla is just a really broken combination with the Cannoneer.
we are in the final game for today against Conan. So yeah, I'm playing one more game with the Poison Lock Bait deck for you guys and just gonna pressure him with the Barrel Princess because I had the E-Spirit down. So with the E-Spirit I actually get two Princess shots because yeah, the E-Spirit stuns the Knight so that way the Knight doesn't like hit the Princess fast enough the second time. So yeah, we get two shots right there which is really nice. So we're gonna be up a lot of damage right here. He gets one bomber shot because my Valkyrie walks back to the like last goblin to kill it. So we actually get a free poison down here. What does he have for the barrel? Okay, he plays drill with the arrows and zap. That's kind of unusual. Normally you see them playing with zap and poison or zap and lock, but not really with zap and arrows. But I'll take it because I th I feel like both um, lock or poison would be better for him. But yeah. So, okay, he tries to predict my princess there again. That was pretty obvious because he only played that fire spirit to protect my uh, predict my princess. So, I knew once the fire spirit dies, he will think I would go for the princess at the bridge again. So, yeah, he tried to predict that again and he overspent it with that drill and the bomber at the bridge. So, we get good damage with the princess now and I can just protect my princess even more with the um, electro spirit. One more. Okay, nice. We actually got one more shot right there. So... Yeah, we are up so much damage right now and he still has to respawn to the princess. Good Tesla from him though, because that Tesla kills my princess and will take care of my evolution Valkyrie also. But I can just force out the arrows with this again. Yeah, there's his arrows and now I can just go for my princess at the bridge again. I have him in a really good cycle and whatever he puts against this, he won't have enough elixir to like get the drill in front of that in time. So that's why I go for the princess. Um, at three elixir right there because if I waited with the princess a little bit longer he would have been able to support his bomber nicely there and he actually gets a lot of damage with the um, goblin drill right there so not too good for us but I feel like three poisons are enough so I'll get my first poison down here already and he goes for the um, drill again so I'll just go for my goblins and he might zap that but that should be fine right so Okay, no, I should have used my evil skellies. What am I doing? Kind of choking, letting too much damage go right there. But now I can use my evil skellies for offense that I didn't use for defense. So, okay, he can't support his drill because look at the evil skellies and he failed the zap. No way, he failed the zap. So, yeah, that's gonna be game. And I didn't defend the drill properly there, but it's all good because, yeah, look at what happened. So, GG's and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Bye!